Let's go eat seafood flown by air from all over Japan. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to Haneda Ichiba Shokudo. Haneda Ichiba Shokudo is a popular restaurant where you can enjoy fresh seafood flown by airplanes and bullet trains from all over Japan. We'll be introducing dishes that go well with sake, the most popular tempura bowl, and much more. So please stay tuned. Now, let's get started. Here we are at Ikebukuro Station. The restaurant I'm going to introduce is about 10 minutes outside the east exit of Ikebukuro Station. Here we are. It's Haneda Ichiba Shokudo Ikebukuro. There are currently nine restaurants mainly in Tokyo and it's a popular restaurant that often appears on TV. On the first floor, you can eat seafood bowls and tempura bowls. And on the second floor, it's an izakaya where you can eat seafood with sake. Let's start with the second floor. The inside of the restaurant is clean and bright. There's a refrigerated case and you can find fresh seafood and freshly made snacks from all over Japan. Let's order our drinks and food. Let's start with beer. Looks good in a chilled glass with creamy bubbles. Cheers! Let's start with the sashimi. The set comes with three kinds of sashimi. Sea bream, horse mackerel, and shirasu. The fish has just arrived from the harbor so it has a beautiful color. After adding soy sauce, let's eat the horse mackerel first. It's got just the right amount of fat on it. It's so fresh that it's refreshing. It's freshly processed, so it's elastic and has a nice texture. Now, let's try the sea bream next. It has a plump texture and sweetness. I'm surprised to find such a beautiful sea bream in Tokyo. That's what I call Haneda Ichiba Shokudo. Next, let's eat Shirasu. Normally, Shirasu is steamed, but since it's fresh, we can eat it raw. It's so sweet that you wouldn't believe it's fish. The ginger and green onions on top make it so refreshing. Then, let's move on to the next dish. This is grilled salmon. They use only belly part of the salmon that has fat on it. The skin is browned and smells so fragrant. The meat is so thick. Just by holding it between chopsticks, the fat seems to pour out. The meat is so tender. Put some grated radish on top and pour soy sauce over it. Finally, a squeeze of lemon. The salmon melts in your mouth. It has a lot of fat, but with grated radish and lemon, you can eat it refreshingly. I bet it would go great with rice. I ordered some more sake. This is a grapefruit sour sake. It's refreshing with a hint of sweetness. Next, let's try something other than seafood. This is Toriten. Toriten is chicken tempura. It's so hot because it's freshly fried. Let's put lemon on it. The batter is so crispy. They are very particular about their non-seafood dishes as well. 
This meat is from the breast, but it's surprisingly tender and juicy. I can't believe this is a seafood restaurant. Next, I'm going to try conger eel. I got conger eel grilled from the refrigerated case. A whole grilled conger eel is covered with sweet sauce. The meat is so plump and tender. It's fatty and melting. The sweet sauce goes perfectly with the conger eel. It makes me want to eat rice. I recommend eating it with cucumber. The texture of the cucumber is a nice accent. Well then, so much for the food on the second floor. I'd like to pay the bill and go to the first floor. On the first floor, I'll order two of the restaurant's especially popular dishes. There are counters overlooking the kitchen and table seats for two people. The food is here. First up is the Kaisen Hitsumabushi. It consists of rice topped with minced tuna, scallops, octopus, squid, green onions, cucumbers, and takwam, radish pickled in salt. You can eat three different ways with this one dish. First, you start by putting the hitsumabushi in a dish. Then, you pour soy sauce containing egg yolk over it. So many different ingredients, so many different textures. It's creamy with minced tuna and soy sauce containing egg yolk. Now, for the second way to eat it. Put the tuna soaked in sesame sauce on the hitsumabushi and eat it. The sesame sauce is so rich, it's a whole new flavor. The sweetness of the sesame seeds and the tuna just made it taste even better. It's like eating another dish. Let's try it the third way. Brinko thinly sliced nori seaweed on top. Then, pour Japanese soup stock over it. The soup stock smells so good. The tuna is cooked and has a sweeter taste. The soup stock made from pink conger and kelp has a gentle and elegant taste. Now, let's eat the last dish. It's the restaurant's most popular tempura bowl. The lid holds the tempura in place so it doesn't fall out. I've never seen such a gorgeous tempura bowl. If we went to a fancy restaurant, the price would be more than three times as expensive. Let's use the lid as a plate and eat. This is squid and scallop tempura. It has a plump texture and sweetness. It's freshly fried, so it's crispy. This is a perilla leaf. Bitter perilla leaf and sweet sauce go great together. This is shrimp. It's amazingly sweet and tasty. I could eat this shrimp endlessly. This is pink conger tempura. It's similar to conger eel in texture and taste. The meat is thicker and fluffier than conger eel. The crispy butter goes great with the sweet sauce. The rice soaked in the sauce is amazing. The sauce and the rice alone are more than enough. Let's crack open the egg tempura. The yolk is half boiled and overflowing. The yolk spills over and soaks into the rice, making it even tastier. The sweet sauce and the half boiled egg go so well together. I'm amazed at the price for such a delicious tempura. And last but not least, we are going to eat it in even better way. 
After we put the tempura bowl in the dish, we'll pour the soup stock over it. This completes tencha, the sweet sauce and Japanese style soup stock go so well together. The soup stock soaks into the batter and makes it even more delicious. It's amazing how cheap you can eat the ingredients flown by air. Not only is it cheap, but it's also very delicious. So you should definitely give it a try when you come to Japan. If you have any restaurants you'd like me to introduce, please let me know in the comments. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.